to face the east and give all praise glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to my elder apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the Akim, great millstone, push this truth throughout the four corners in these last days. Shalom. And uh, if you can't hear me clearly, I got uh, I got a cut cut in my mouth, but uh, we still gonna edify. All right. So this going based on the um, this documentary. All right, reclaiming the throne. All right, it's a documentary on T T U B I two by. All right, which you can either most people should have it, but you can either download it on your phone or on your TV if you don't have it. Two by. All right, and it's very, it's very, uh, it's very edifying. All right, but of course, uh, you know, Jake is going off on the name of the Lord. You're gonna notice in that documentary, Jake, Jake gonna get the history right, you know, but and Jake gonna piece together how the twelve tribes of Israel are you, uh, you, you know. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, who are Israelites. Well, mainly in the documentary, uh, Jake, uh, when I say Jake, I'm talking about so-called uh, Negro, all right? He's going to be focused on uh, you so-called Blacks, you know, you so-called Negroes. So he's not going to, he's not going to go into uh, 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 you so-called uh, Hispanics and Native Americans, all right? But it does, as far as the history goes, you know, they make it, it's a, it's a good documentary to watch because he shows in history how, you know, you, you had uh, so-called blacks, you know, that would come over here writing, writing and speaking Paleo-Hebrew, you know, speaking the, the uh, uh, speaking of Lashwan uh, Kadash, the Lashwan Kadash, you know, the Holy Tongue. You know, so it's a lot of history uh, in that documentary. All right. <clears throat> and I put the title, the name of the documentary is the title, Reclaiming the Throne uh, documentary, and it's on two by. All right. But through the, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shah, we're going to get a couple precepts. All right. And just got three. This is going to be real quick. All right. It's Jeremiah 46 and 27. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel. All right? And it's, talk, it's talking about which Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, he's one of our forefathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are the forefathers of the chosen people of the Lord. All right? Yeah. When you read 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter, it tell you, uh, you know, all nations come of Adam, but it singles out that even the chosen people came out of Adam, all right? Because the Lord deals with a chosen bloodline, all right? <clears throat> and it reads, uh, For behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, all right? So the Lord not coming back to save everybody or every nation that's nowhere in the bible all right he's coming back to save you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans uh who are who make up the 12 tribes of israel those of you that repent and return back to the lord and call on his true name because if you calling if you calling on uh uh jesus christ or uh uh yah or Elohim and all this extra stuff, you know, Elohim is 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 plural. Alright? That's that's talking about the, the powers, the angels. You know, you gotta go into the definition of words, you know. You got and it's important, it's very important to have the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Alright. But let's finish this off and we're gonna get a precept based on the name of the Lord. Because in Proverbs, the 30th chapter, you know. It asks you, what's the Lord's name? All right. <clears throat> and you got to understand, Christianity, Christianity is a worldwide 
uh, religion, all right? So if that was the fulfillment of this gospel shall be preached throughout all the world, then shall the end come, the end would have been here. So that shows you that that's not, that's not the gospel of Yahweh Hashem al -Shah. That's not the good news, all right? Christianity and Islam is, is of this false prophet, the Roman Catholic Church, all right? Which all these religions... Uh, is birthed from that Roman Catholic Church. And it reads, um, And Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease. All right? None shall make him afraid. And that's going to be in the kingdom of heaven. All right? And that's when the Lord going to return and, and set us back up. Because <clears throat> like the scriptures say, the government going to be upon Yahweh Shah's shoulders. All right? Who, who's going to make up that government? All right, the 144,000, the whole field lit. All right, I got to knock down that wall's nest too. But uh, the water, <laughs> y'all by Shemal Shai got them chilling. All right, and it reads, Fear, fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant, saith the Lord, for I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have driven thee. All right, and the Lord, the Lord is going to judge these other nations. You know, via uh, uh, Armageddon, Yahweh Shapat. You know, the Lord is going to bring judgment on these other nations, and especially when the Lord cr cracked those clouds, He coming back with many crowns. All right, He's coming to take these other nations that make up uh, uh, make up this dragon. All right, the NATO and the EU, and this great whore including Babylon the Great. He's coming to take all these superpowers of the earth down. All right. <clears throat> And it says what? And in the documentary, in the documentary, uh, the one question Jake was asking, he was like, uh, why would he said, why would God sit back and let this happen uh, to you know uh, black black people? All right. <clears throat> and then they they went into history, and they they went they shot straight to uh, you know during the time of Egypt and 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 uh. Exodus and stuff like that, which is a very it's a beautiful documentary because it proves it shows you through uh, uh, it shows you through history that we are we are those people we, we are the Hebrew Israelites all right uh, uh, the tribe of Judah the southern kingdom they are the Jews all right the so-called uh, uh, Negroes uh, Jamaicans and Haitians. All right, which make up the uh, southern kingdom, you know. So it's just it's endless, endless information. This truth, this truth is out. That's the point of the video. This truth is out. If you still believing in Christianity, if you still believing in Esau, the so-called white man, you know, you're just you're just down for destruction. All right, you're not gonna make it. Cause just like with this uh. What that is, that um, that Bayou, that Bayou supermarket, that shooting that happened when when you had the Edomite just land land you know land down law, all right, that's going that's going to intensify. You know Esau, the so-called white man, he's going to show his, his true colors, and that that happened in that happened in New York, all right, and they actually got the video out there of the uh, the Edomite that was doing you know doing the uh, the gunslinging. You know, <clears throat> and you, if you watch that video, you're gonna notice that the Edomite he's gonna he's gonna spare the other Edomite life. You know, in the uh, the the last few few seconds of the uh, the video. You know, so you you two thirds of our people about to learn the hard way about trusting in their enemy. Never trust your enemy, for like it's iron rust of, so it's his wickedness. So it's about to come to the point of time where Esau just about to stop. He's about to stop with the subtility, all right? <clears throat> he's about to, he's just about to come at you direct. And it says, what? Um, uh, but I will not make a full end of thee. But correct thee in measure. That's what Yahweh Bashim Al Shah did to 
uh, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know, he's correcting us in, uh, in measure, all right? And in these last days, in the land of our captivity, you got the Hofi elect waking up, and we calling on the true name of the, of the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashem al Rasha, all right? And we returning back to who we are, you know, our, our heritage, customs, laws, statutes, and commandments, all that, you know? <clears throat> and it says, Yet will I not leave thee wholly unpunished. All right? Let's get a uh, precept. Yeah. This Revelation 11 and 11. And after three days and then half, the spirit of the of the spirit of life from Yahweh Shah entered into them. All right, via this truth. All right, when we when the uh, the men of the Lord, beginning with the elder apostles, great millstone, uh, on down to least least of us, when we go on the highways and byways, this this is the spirit of the Lord is on us. All right, like the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice. So when uh, when the Lord's people hit the ones that's already predestined, you know, to uh, uh, be be a part of that whole field leg number, all right? And, and we don't know. I brought this out, Lord willing, uh, I'm a part of that number, all right? But when you when you uh, uh, hear these words, it quicken your spirit, all right? It resonate with you. And it says, um, and the spirit of life from Yahweh Shemel Shai entered unto them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. All right, and this going into uh, this going into the the, the uh, Israelites waking up to who they are. All right, the sons of God waking up to who they are. You know. <clears throat> Let me get another precept. Well, let's get that name. The name. It says, um, Proverbs 30 and 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? So what is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou can tell? Because that name is very important. The Lord, the Lord, the Heavenly Father and the Son, they do not have many names. All right? <clears throat> Yes, they have titles, because Jake, Jake, uh, you know, but Jake don't be having uh, no knowledge. You know, two thirds don't be having no knowledge. So when you ask them what's the name of the Lord, you know, they don't, they don't know. They're just gonna pull something out their ass instead of, instead of just keeping it real and saying uh, uh, they don't know. You know, <clears throat> but they're gonna go by what Esau tell them. All right. And it says, uh, what is his son's name if thou can tell? All right. <clears throat> now let's uh let's go back to the other precept. All right. <clears throat> this Matthew twenty five, Matthew twenty five and one. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom all right and these virgins they re it represents the uh the israelites all right but you're gonna have it represents the hebrew israelites but you're gonna have a certain amount that's going to actually be sincere and and uh truthful with with this uh with this lamp all right with this, uh, uh, with these talents that the Lord has given them, all right, and you're gonna have, you're gonna have the other half. They're not, they're not about to, they're not gonna, uh, they're basically, they're not gonna take it serious, you know. They're gonna know that there was uh, Israelites, Hebrew Israelites, and stuff like that, but they just not gonna, they're not gonna uh, grow, grow in the spirit, because. When you when you bearing fruit, you're not only bringing people into the truth, uh, uh, cause that that's how you show that you love Yahweh Shemel Shah. 
by spreading his word. All right, but uh, bearing fruit is you growing as well. You know, you you post not only when you in this truth, you post to actually grow. Uh, you supposed to grow spiritually. You know what I'm saying? And it, your faith gotta increase for these hard times we about to go into. You know, you gotta increase your faith. All that. You know, your knowledge. Isaiah 33 and 6. You know. <clears throat> So we got to be showing a, a good pattern of uh, good works. And it says, and five of them were wise and five, of, five were foolish. So the, the, the first half, they took advantage of this grace period that Yahweh Bashim uh, uh gave, gave to them. All right. <clears throat> like scripture say, we have not chosen, uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, I might have to get it. Uh, we have not chosen uh, him, but he he have chosen us. All right, I'm probably gonna have to get it because I'm butchering it. Let me see. Let's see. Let me see. Okay. This 16. Uh, I might start up. I'll call you not. Yeah, I'm going to start up. This John, John chapter 15 and 14. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants. Uh, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. That's why the, the mysteries of the kingdom, the secrets of the uh, kingdom are given to the prophets. And it says, uh, For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my father, Yahweh, I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. All right, so this what this what this this our job, you know, this the highest calling on earth, you know. And it says what, and that your fruit should remain, and that what's up whatsoever you act, shall ask of the Father in my name, He may give it you. All right, and it goes on and on. All right, <clears throat> let me see. All right, yeah, and that's the point, you know. So, uh, uh, we can't, we can't neglect the gift that is given to us, you know? Let me see. It's, it's, uh, bear with me, I can try to find this precept. Um, this, uh... First Timothy, First Timothy four and fourteen. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. That's how we heard this truth by prophecy, by the elder apostles' great millstone. All right, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. All right, so the uh, basically the elders, the elder apostles' great millstone. All right. Because what what the what the scriptures say the Lord say I will I will give you pastors according to my heart that will feed you with uh, uh, wisdom knowledge all right and understanding <clears throat> all right let's go back let's go back So you basically got to take advantage of this truth. You know what I'm saying? Don't neglect don't don't neglect this this truth. All right? Cuz the Lord can easily take take uh this truth away from you and give it to somebody else. You know? <clears throat> and that's uh and roughly paraphrase when it said the word was uh sweet I think it's like sweet as honey, but it became 
bitter. All right. Let me see. I got a, uh, how much time? This revelation, all right, I'm probably going to close out. All right, let me see if I'm, uh, I'm probably going to close out Revelation 10 and 10. Let me see something. Um, I had, I had, had a lot more precepts, but I'm going to close out because, you know, this uh, Revelation 10 and 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, give me the little book. This represents, you know, the, uh, the scriptures, the Bible. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up, meaning understand it. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly belly was bitter. All right, that belly represents your mind. You know, like the scriptures say, uh, 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 roughly paraphrasing, surely oppression make of a wise man mad. All right, or he that increasing in, in knowledge and in, uh, increasing in sorrow. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, so you you come to reality. It's basically you you coming out of the matrix. You know. <clears throat> And you realize, damn, shit ain't sweet. You realize the evil that's about to come on this earth. You know, you realize the uh, the secret plans of Esau, the so-called white man of your enemy. And you're like, whoa, like, you know what I'm saying? And you, you realize that not everybody going to make it, you know? <clears throat> you realize that the, the Lord not going to wake up your whole biological family. So it's a lot of things you come to realization of and that we in the last days, you know. That's why we got to grow. We got to bear, bear more fruit, you know. Got to grow in the faith because these are about to be hard times we come into. Very, very hard, all right. Our faith going to be tested. And it reads, um, where I was, uh, okay. 11 and he said unto me thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and nations and tongues and kings all right because uh, uh once a prophet always a prophet so you got to understand uh uh where everybody is reincarnated regenerated you know on, constantly on the earth all right so if we if if you was a prophet in the ancient times you know, when you come back on earth again, you're still going to be that prophet. But you're not going to know. You're not going to have no knowledge or remembrance of your former, your past life. All right? But with that, I want to end it off and give all praise going on to two uh, facing the east. Uh, Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah by Hashem Kakadash. All right? Double honors to my elder apostles, Great Millstone, rule and teach well. And honors and salutations to the Akim of Great Millstone, pushing his truth throughout the four corners in these last days. Abba, Abba, and Quam Yashallah. Shalom.